Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Maze once again, and welcome to yet another episode of my series, Keys to Success, for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And in this particular episode, I'm definitely going to be covering a more advanced tutorial, and that is on how to get a flawless gameplay in Black Ops 3. Now, the reason why I said that this is a more advanced topic is because this really requires a decent set of skills when it comes to map awareness, spawn manipulation, and knowing what loadouts to use in a particular game type. And that is something that uh, you guys will learn throughout other episodes of Keys to Success as well. So, if this is a little bit too advanced for you guys, definitely tune in for other episodes of Keys to Success that will really help you be able to jump back into this video and be able to know exactly what I'm talking about in this particular commentary. Now let's jump right into the gameplay itself and, and talk a little bit more about what I'm doing and the reasons why I'm doing these particular things. Now you guys can clearly see that I am using a suppressed weapon which is definitely something that you're going to want to try to utilize in a gameplay if you're trying to get a flawless gameplay and the reason for that is because it obviously keeps you off the minimap and it allows you to be aggressive behind enemy lines and you can clearly see that I've gotten a lot of kills behind enemy lines with this weapon and I'm also being very aggressive with this loadout. On top of that I'm using a weapon that I'm very comfortable with. The Vesper is a very good submachine gun and the fact that it's an unconventional weapon to use on this particular map is what makes it such a successful loadout to use. Um, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but if you're playing a little bit more fast and you're manipulating the spawns however you want, you're going to definitely want to have a weapon that can be utilized in close quarters combat. Just because if you're looking at your mini-map and you're double, double checking to see where your teammates are, where they're spawning, then you're going to really get some cues as to where you're going to want to rush in order to get these aggressive kills. Another thing you want to do is also have kill streaks that allow you to uh, see where the enemy positions are at all times. Even with this particular kill streak that I have right here, which is the Talon, I am controlling it manually and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm utilizing the ghost perk so it keeps me off the minimap if the enemy does get a UAV, a UAV excuse me. So that is one thing that you're definitely going to want to try to pick up as far as perks are concerned and uh, anytime you're using a kill streak it will keep you off the minimap which will keep you alive and that is exactly what you want to be able to do obviously if you're going for a flawless gameplay. Now, another thing that I want to mention too, and you will see this throughout the gameplay, is that you're going to really want to pick your battles and not challenge a gunfight that you are not absolutely confident that you will win. If you're challenging a gunfight, you better believe that the enemy is going to try to aggressively try to take you out. And that's something that you have to keep in mind. And because of the fact that you can actually stay alive a little bit longer by retreating that's what you're gonna want to do and in this case you saw that I retreated and I'm still retreating to try to get a shot with my annihilator here and I'm, I'm able to do that and the reason for that is because I'm regaining my health in cover and then challenging the gunfight when I know I have my shot down range and will get that shot to connect. That is really, really important. You can see here that instead of going back to challenge that uh, individual with the scythe, I just dipped. I went and ran away and lived to fight another day. And that's something that you're going to really have to consciously do a lot if you are wanting to stay alive. Never try to challenge a gunfight that you are just not going to be able to win. And that is, even if you have a specialist um, weapon in your hands, either way, just retreat if you have to and run away. As, as long as you know where you're running away to, that's the best way to do it. And I know I reiterated that point twice very shortly, but it's because it's very, very important to be able to get those flawless gameplays. This is the second side of this domination match now, and you can see that 
I'm waiting and, and basically roaming around in my spawn until my teammates push up and then I start rushing up to the objective. And the reason why I did that is to be able to set up a defensive line as it were to be able to play the objective smartly and uh, or intelligently I should say that is what you want to be able to do and you can clearly see that I went ahead played the objective then got a a kill streak or points towards my next kill streak and that is what you want to be able to continuously do don't jump on the objective unless if you know it's safe to be able to do that and then have teammate support and that is why I'm very very close to my next point streak here and it will be perfect for being able to continue to stay alive here now um, the score is 120 to 65 as you can see here and I'm not being overly aggressive to try to get a trip cap and in domination for example getting a trip cap is really really difficult because of the fact that you're not going to be able to manipulate the spawns very effectively on top of that you can see that a gunfight was almost lost there and I did not challenge it until I regained my health completely and then I rushed up and got the kill and the only reason why I rushed up, obviously, is because I do have that Vesper and it will win gunfights up close nine times out of ten just because of that high rate of fire. So um, a loadout is very, very important to be able to stay alive as much as you can. If you have a, a weapon loadout that is just unconventional and, and not very user friendly, you're going to have yourself a very, very difficult time trying to stay alive. So. You can see now that um, I waited to be safe to call in my talent and once again I go on an absolute tear with it and it, it's really a beneficial kill streak to just stack up kills and continuously manipulate the spawns for your teammates and, and you can see that I can also call out to my teammates and let them know hey these guys are spawning in this area of the map you're gonna want to pay attention to this and the more you do that with your team, the better it is for them to be able to stay alive as well. And the role that you're playing when you're staying alive like this is the anchor for the spawns of your teammates. And that's a really important role because you're going to really dictate how well your teammates are doing as well because they're going to be spawning on you. And if you're not in a safe area and you're being overly aggressive and challenging gunfights like a crazy madman, you're going to give your teammates a bad spawn, which in turn could potentially get you killed as well. And uh, that's something that you have to really be conscious of. So the main thing that you guys have to take from this commentary here is that you're going to want to always be cautious of your surroundings. Be cautious of where the enemy is being taken out by your teammates because that will also dictate where the enemy is going to spawn and if they'll spawn behind you and if you're not careful you will get spawned on from behind and you can die from that so mini map awareness is something that you guys should do on a regular basis despite the fact that you're going for a flawless gameplay or not you have to make sure that you're always keeping an eye on your mini map but not too much either because if you're overly watching your mini map you're going to always be in a situation where you could potentially lose a gunfight because your gun won't be ready in time to win that gunfight so that's very very important as well also if you do see a weapon that you think could be very easy to use in on the ground you're gonna definitely want to pick that up and you can see that I did pick up a suppressed ICR it works perfectly for the role that I was playing and I stayed off the minimap as well and that's the reason why I picked it up because then I'm a double threat I'm able to pick up kills at a longer distance and also up close with the Vesper so hopefully this commentary helped you guys see a little bit of what you have to do to get a flawless gameplay and I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time I'll catch you on my next one